Vengeance will be mine. Galera, right away. So I wanted to just sit down and have a little very messy hair kind of a chat about this book. So I read this book a couple of years ago now. I'm not too sure when. It wasn't strictly directly after it came out, but shortly after it came out and uh yeah so right when it came out like whole of booktube was just like trashing this book like no there was no tomorrow <laughs> basically so yes it may not be the best book ever written and yes there may be a lot of cheesy liners as it were um especially the legends will be mine yeah um which is something one character in particular says quite a lot <laughs> yeah a lot but rereading it now it actually makes a lot more sense <laughs> it's it's actually not as bad as a lot of people were trying to make it out to be. Yes, they, it has all the maybe not the best parts, but then again, so many books out there. There are so many books out there that are just terrible. And this isn't terrible. It has a good premise, but yeah, it does have cheeky liners that's cringe um but somehow i feel like it was very intentional but i don't know i haven't actually spoken with the authors i have met uh sasha olsberg who wrote this co-wrote this with lindsay cummings so i have signed and i have a like signed book plate from lindsay because um at the time Lindsay was going to come to the to the event, I got the sign, uh, but Lindsay was very pregnant and could not get on a plane, <laughs> so she signed about a bunch of book plates, so I'm happy about that. Um, but yeah, I haven't actually spoken or to the authors nor heard the authors mention anything like particular about the writing and so on and so forth, so I don't know how intentional things are, but... I enjoyed it. I did enjoy it a lot more the second time around than I did the first time around. Um, I'm actually quite happy I reread it. And <laughs> the main reason I reread it was because I did eventually find, well, last year I found Nexus, which is the sequel. Um, and I felt it had been such a long time since reading this one for me to just pick up this one. So I did reread seen it um so now i can read nexus which is there's a bit of size difference to them um not a lot so seen it is it's this space opera full of basically female all female crew pirate space crew basically what else can i say yeah 
I'm a lot more excited to pick up Nexus now after having reread seen it. I I guess I was a bit hesitant at first to pick it up, but now I'm like, yeah, let's just roll with this. Let's just pull out the punches and do everything because I'm on a roll now. I had coffee just now. I mean, I haven't drunk it all, but it doesn't take a lot for me to go crazy. <laughs> So yeah, I'll check back with you guys later when, um, probably when I've finished this because I have a feeling I'm just going to read it and forget about updating because that's what I do. <sighs> yeah, I should take like a thumbnail before I put this back in the shelf, although I do want to put it back in the shelf. Catch you later. Welcome to the epic conclusion of the Andrama Saga. It's Nexus. It's Nexus time. Um, epic? We'll go with epic. So, read both now. It was my first reread of Seen It, so my second time reading it all together. Uh, I liked it a lot, lot, a lot better the second time around. Um, I don't know if it's just because I knew the story or, you know, something else. I don't know. But it was a lot better the second time around, I'm not going to lie. So it does have a lot of cringe moments. I'm okay with it. And the character that keeps on saying, Vengeance will be mine. I mean, there's a there's a whole point to him going on a rampage saying Vengeance will be mine all the time. So, I mean, it makes sense in the end. But that was that. That was that. I, I've already spoken about that book. So, on to book number two, which is the last one, and Nexus. This read so fast. So incredibly fast. I started it. And then I was finished. I was like, what the freaking hell did this happen? I wouldn't say there's cringe moments, not like that specifically pointed out in Zenith. I wouldn't say there are cringe moments like that in Nexus. The character who's like, vengeance will be mine. Well, yeah, he, he kind of goes on a vengeance rampage. So I really liked how they concluded the whole saga of it all, the whole duology. I feel weird calling it a saga, but I, then again, I'm not really sure what like constitutes as a saga. Should look that up. I don't care to. So there we go. Is this the best sci-fi duology ever written? No, but I don't think I've read. <laughs> I don't think I've read the best sci-fi book, duology, series, whatever. I don't think I've read that yet. And to be fair, I don't think I've read that much sci-fi in general. I've read a lot of fantasy, but I don't think I've read a lot of sci-fi. I do like sci-fi movies though, so I feel like I should just join the hype. What hype? I don't know. It's not the best duology I've ever written. However, it's, I need to sneeze. Oh, my eyes are all watery now. No, it's not the best sci-fi duology ever written, but it's a good read. It's, 
I want to say it's a decent, like, story plot. I mean, it kind of ticks all the boxes. It doesn't necessarily give all the big juice you want from having read a book, but I'm okay with this. I had a good time reading this, so, I mean, if you like some sci-fi, go for it. Why not? Yes, I'm so good at this formulating words, saying what I like and don't like, reviewing books. Yes, this is obviously what I'm best at. Yeah, that's, that's a big fat lie. I just like chatting, that's all. I will say I liked Nexus a lot more than I did Zenith. But seeing as being the first book, it's a lot more drawn out because we have this whole getting to know the characters, getting to know the environment, getting to know everything. And then in Nexus, we can just go jump right in because we know everything that's happening. We know all the characters, we know all this stuff. And then we can get like a conclusion, which I think we do. We do get like... Not just say like half assed let's finish this son of a bitch, but we actually get a decent conclusion to everything. Is it the best thing happening? Maybe, maybe not. You'll have to read it to find out. I'm not gonna say anything more about this. That was my half assed summarization. Kiss you now, that's what I do. And uh, you know, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Until then, take care, bye bye.